Uh, read everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Lucretia. My name is Lucretia by the Jordy Phoenix. I can't even get my name right. I'm assuming tongue twisting me words already. Anyways, my name is Lucretia Vi, the Geordie Phoenix, and we are back to play Vampires the Masquerade Bloodlines. So, in the last episode, we tackled the Mercurial Quest. We did the thing for E. Um, this time, we are going to see Jeanette and Therese in a nightclub. Let's start with all them ones. And I might try to fit the warehouse one in. Um, but I'm not 100% sure. The warehouse, I think, is a pretty big um, quest. Uh, but we'll, we'll see when we get up there. What do we have here? Another scrumptious nice. young plaything straight out of life and into my club? You smell new, little girl. Like fabric softener do on freshly mowed AstroTurf. Oh, I'm not frightening you, am I, duckling? Your butts have fabric stock now on the master, I don't know. Frightening is the word I'd use. Exciting, more like. <laughs> I can tell you and I are going to get along just like fire hoses. Fire hoses? When we get turned on, there's bound to be flames. Who are you? I'm the finger down your spine when all the lights are out. I'm the name on all the men's room walls. When I pout, the whole world tries to make me smile. And everyone always wants to know who is that girl. Aren't you the tease? You got a name I can remember you by? I am Jeanette. And this bit of chaos crammed in a That's certifiable nice. giggle is my club. <sighs> I just love to give you funny feelings all night, sweetheart, but I really must trouble with some business. We'll reunite Sweden soon, I promise. Soon can't come soon can't come soon enough. Goodbye. I just got two colored eyes. Disgusting. What can I give you? I don't drink alcohol. You sure? I make a mean bloody Mary. Oh, I'm sure you do. Big man like you must have lots of talents. Oh, I'll be there, big cow. But first, I need you to tell me where I can find Therese. Therese? She's upstairs. She had business to attend to, but I can hear her and Jeanette bickering from here. Why do you need to see her? I called earlier. I have an interview for a part-time hostess position. Damn, I wish it was my job. Go on up and see her. Take the elevator over there. Thanks. Bye. There's, uh, the ghoul. Hey, girl. Hey, Knox. What's going on? Oh, not much. Just waiting around for my master. The, ma the master you couldn't talk about? Okay, okay. Yes, I can tell you about it. Oh man, his name Bertram Tone. He's a Nosferatu. No kidding. Small world. I'm looking for him too. Oh man, I wish I knew where he was. I'm getting antsy waiting around for him. I need to tell him some stuff, you know? I don't know where he is or stays or anything. Oh man, I can't. Every need me just, you know, appears. What's Bertram at? Oh man. Well, he's like the only vampire I know, but, well, he seems pretty damn powerful. Oh, man, well, when he's looking at you, it's like he's really spinning your brain, you know? It's like trippy, it's crazy. Oh, man, but I guess that's the Nosferatu thing, no? <laughs> they, like, know everything, I guess. How does he get in touch with you? It's crazy. He just appears out of, like, thin air. First time he appeared, BAM! Give me a goddamn heart attack! <laughs> oh man, especially how he looks. <laughs> First time? So why do you choose you? Bertram says he's needed someone to do some things. Oh man, he'd been watching me work as a bounty hunter for a while. Man, take me! Oh man, it's so cool. It's like a job promotion. I mean, I get to like live forever and stuff. Can you tell me what, what he has you doing? Oh man, wow. Bertram has you. Asian dude, 
So what's the problem? Oh man, this guy, this, this thing, got wise to me. Now instead of me watching him, he's watching me, you know? I see this guy that here around me all the time, like, up in the distance watching me walk up next to me. Oh man, this dude. That must be unnerving. He's freaking me out. I know this thing is totally toying. I want to put a bull in his head, but he knows if that'll do anything. I was waiting till I talked to her something. No, I'll I know where he disappeared to. <laughs> it's messed up! Want me to take care of it? Hell yeah! Right on! Okay, like I said, he's some kind of Asian vampire thing, you know? The only clue I got is this driver's license that he dropped once while I was tailing him. I've been so freaked out that I haven't even had a chance to check it out. Driver's license? Shouldn't that tell me who he is? No. The picture on the license isn't him. I don't know why he had it, but, well, it might help you find out where he is and what he's doing. Here, take it. I'll look into it. Right on. Just come right back on. and let me know the job's done so I can stop freaking out. Oh, man. Maybe I'll see Bertram by then. <laughs> Sounds good, no? Uh, all right, I'll see you later. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. It's just funny, honestly. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Uh, Virgil Crumb. Let's see if the Bondsman guy, because normally he knows every, he normally has names on everybody. Actually, I wonder if he has a name on um, Heather Paul. The ancestors will rise up and reclaim like the flesh that they lent their sorry progeny. Doesn't he look like Jack? He looks like Jack. Is that Jack? Jack, are you are you, are you in disguise right now, or are you a real Skies human? Are all rotten, and the storm is our death sentence. Let's see if I if I bite him, will he actually if if I bite him and he die he, he dies like in the uh, sparkles and know he's a vampire. Hello, LA. You're up way past your bedtime, aren't you? Hope you've slipped into something ah. comfortable. I know I have. If you're new to town or just new to this whole radio mm -hmm. thing, you're listening to the Dove of Night. The only girl who will spend the night with you and leave first thing in the morning, guaranteed. Chrome is Well, it? looks like the boards are lighting up. Aren't I the popular one? Let's see. Eeny, meeny, meeny, moe. Who would be the lucky? Caller, okay. you've got the first shot at Doug tonight. So, who do I have the pleasure He's in of the, the Hi, hospital. Uh, this is, uh, Vigo. Vigo? So, Vigo, why are you up so late? Um, I'm working a late shift here at the uh, yacht club. Uh-huh. How many boats do you own, Vigo? Two. Actually, three. Mm -hmm. uh, one and I thought it might have something on Heather, but it doesn't, apparently. Skies are all rotten and the storm is our death sentence! Hey, baby! Need company? No. Um, why am I going again? Oh yeah, Morg. Oh, there he is, the dead guy. Foxy Boxer, so I'm going to Foxy Boxer next. Yeah, he's dead. Um, can I go in here? Is there anything in here I can take? No. No, like uh, pill bottles or something. No. Okay. Uh, that's where um, Lily was. Where is he? Stay still then. Dick, where are you? Where is he? Stay still then, you cracker. 
How am I supposed to get you when you're like that? I'm not pressing the right button, you silly cow. I gotta say, why am I not able to walk? I'm like not even pressing the right button. Is there anything in here I can take? What was that? That was a door. Um... Nope. Nothing in here. I did. You don't have to worry about it anymore. Oh, thank God. Oh, man. Yes. That thing was hounding me like every night. Look, I still haven't heard anything from Bertram. Sorry, okay? I'll still let him know, but for now, I have no way to repay you. Do you have any idea what the thing was? Bertram said it's like a vampire. It's different, you know? It's like what they have in China instead of vampires. He said lots of them. Coming to California for some reason, I don't know. Sounds serious. Could be. Oh, I don't know. That, that's interesting. I better be going. Uh, I don't really want to ask for the guns because I, I already know where to get guns and stuff from Trip or. I mean, get me um, guns from Mikuro or Leia, I guess. Hopefully on this series I'm going to try and play some more horror game series and stuff like that. Okay. Your city? Last time I looked it was called Santa Monica. Not stuck up this. Oh, gosh. I can't even look at you sometimes. Yes, you Oh, Therese. You really do kind of flattering and force it me with your turn of the century vibe. I always assumed you could do nothing but look down on me. Just the sight of you. The sight of that wicked painted pipe. Concealing that dirty, diseased mind. Sin! You have no sin. <laughs> Let's see who is without sin. Cast the fierce tone. Go ahead and mock me. You pull your pranks, make fun of my ways. It suits you. You're just one big joke. Don't you call me that. Should I start calling a duck up here as well? I'm your sister. How can you treat me like this? Oh, oh sister, man. Run away from the truth. I'll take care of everything, as always. Okay. Hi. Please, come in. I do apologize for my sister's crassness if it made you uncomfortable. She's unabashedly scandalous, but in the club business, I suppose that kind of personality is a necessary evil. I'm just glad she's gone. Are you Therese? Therese Vorman, yes. I'm the proprietor of this club, and the only person in this city whose good side it's in your best interest to stay on. What brings you to Santa Monica? I need you to call off the feud with Bertram Tongue. Tongue's exile is self-imposed, I assure you. But then, what reason would I have not to hate that loathsome Nosferatu scoundrel? Bloody Nosferatu. They're so... unclean. Your phobias don't concern me. Just tell them everything's cool. Hmm. I'd be willing to put the word out that my grievances with Tongue have been swept under the rug. But in return... You'll have to help me remove a particularly burdensome spirit from a property I'm looking to invest in. Gladly. What do I have to do? Rumor is that a personal item of a ghost may be used to draw it out or excise it from its haunt. While I don't put a lot of stock in hearsay, it's my last option. 
So I want you to go to the Ocean House Hotel, find an item of the spirits, and bring it back. I'll do, I'll do it if you promise to call feud. Oh, I fully intend to do so. You'll find that dealing with me on the whole is appreciably more predictable than dealing with some of the egomaniacs that are my peers. So long as our business doesn't go sour, my word is gold. I can respect that, and I appreciate it. Goodbye. Before I forget, take this. The only way to reach the Ocean House this time of night is through a tunnel in the sewers. You'll need that key to open the gate for that tunnel. If that's what it takes to get the job done. If you'll excuse me, I've got situations to set straight. Right. Goodbye. So, just in case you don't know, Jeanette and Therese are actually the same person. Um, they're sisters, but they've got the either that Jeanette or Therese, whatever, has a split personality, so the, the, the Jeanette and Therese um, are each other. Um, you'll find out more about that later. Um, but that's why you never see Jeanette or Therese together. They're, they're both exactly the same person, split personality. I don't know which personality is actually the, the, the proper one, the dominant one, but uh, and which one's just a side personality. I'm guessing, I'm guessing it's uh, Therese is the proper personality. And Jeanette is just like kind of a side personality as the other side. Um, but I don't know. Anyway, do this level. This level is scary. This level and this quest is quite scary, actually. The um, haunted house is quite uh, unnerving, to say the least. I love this music in this game, but I hope YouTube doesn't have a go at about the music, because there's no way I can shut the music off. So I hope YouTube doesn't copyright strike me. I mean, if it does, I mean, there's nothing I can do about it, to be honest with you. If they do want to take it off, I'll have to try and find... Thank you. Some way, other way of uh, recording this. Right now, I'm recording on OBS, so I'm recording my face, my webcam over the gameplay. But if um, YouTube copyright strikes me, I'll, I'll record them separately and I'll do it in editing, you know, but hopefully they won't. Oh. That was a woman running there. Whoa! Fuck you. Yeah. Oh shit! Oh! Fucking guy with an axe! Let's go down here. I should let this go. That may that may crush me. Fly that, yeah. What are you gonna do with that, you little prick? Yep. Is this really necessary? Throwing things at me like this? Jump on me. Couple. Happy couple. An old lady. A man. Another man. Ow. Grand opening. Santa Monica celebrates a new ocean hotel. Are you all right? <laughs> hotel Hill. Child severed head found in hotel laundry room. Whoa. Oh shit, man. Why is there always children being murdered in horror games? I mean, arguably it is horrific, but why is it always poor children being murdered? Yeah, like five nights, five nights of Freddy's, and look at like Poppy Playtime, and and oh dear, 
Poppy playtime and all them. Look, every all it's always children being murdered. I mean, it's not nice for anybody to be murdered, but it's always kids. Oh, there he is. There he is with the axe. Does he come round here? Fuck, is he gonna come round here? Fucking hell. I thought he was gonna come around here and fucking put the axe on us. No. Oh. Yeah. Ooh, careful. Putting up some vegetables in there. We making a stew. Wonderful. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with. Oh, woman over there. The ghostly woman. No, no, no! I'm not fucking going over there. Screw you. For God's sake. Why are you phone things at me? Leave me alone. I'm innocent. It's Therese you want to be angry at. Where's she gone? Another body. Please say a second child was chopped up like firewood. Ugh. Wow. I will be playing on Five Nights at Freddy's and, um... Oh. Is that a demon or is that their dad? It kind of looks like they're a demon, unless the dad, unless the dad got possessed, like or something like that. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit. Hi. get away from me! Get out! I'll get out when I feel like it. Thank you very much. Ow! Ow! Really? I've got a key. Oh, and she's got a she's she's standing by a door. Um, yeah, we'll be playing on Five Nights at Freddy's and um, Poppy Playtime. Five Nights at Freddy's is one of my favourite games. I haven't played on that for years. I can't remember what happens in it now. I know you've got to do. Um, I know you've got to watch the the cameras for the, the animatronics coming after you, but I can't remember the story and everything. It's been ages since I've um, I've bothered with it. But I want to play on that one again because, like I said, I love Five Nights. I used to. I remember I loved Five Nights at Freddy's, um, and I remember the story was good. I can't remember what the story was, but I remember it was good. Murder suicide. House killer possibly responsible for infernal. Okay. Now, is there anything up here I can have? Yeah, Five Nights at Freddy's, Poppy Playtime are the two I really want to uh, really want to play on. I'm going to try and play on some, like, older games as well. Um, like, some other games as well. Um, got to, I, I played on Total Overdose before I left. That was a really good action game. So I might try to do some more action games as well. But let me know if there's any games that you want, me to, you want to see me play on. Okay. Um, and I'll try to get round to them, definitely. Is there a diary? Um, Chard diary. Um, just arrived. Just arrived here at the Ocean House. We have a week-long holiday in Santa Monica. Ed has booked us a room for the hotel grand reopening. It's a wonderful place, almost magical. The, the children have been swimming all afternoon. 
First two days have been have been almost perfect, except that Ed seemed can't seem to ask him about the the locket I received my mother. He seems to think it was sent by some admirer. Ed can be sweet, but he but he gets jealous some he's jealousy sometimes can get the better of him. Hope you'll feel better tomorrow. Sun is out today and on a cloud in the sky, Ed seems a little on edge. Keeps guessing to who my new boyfriend is, silly Ed. It sounds like he's getting a bit parent, getting a bit uh, jealous there. There was a picnic in the ho for the hotels for the hotel guests this morning. Quite a grand affair. Ed is in a dark mood. I don't know what I can do to reassure him that he is my one and only love. The only time he seemed to brighten up was when he was speaking to the groundskeeper, a boy, uh, groundskeeper, boys and their tools. We only have two days left, thank God, and we're finally going home. Ed won't speak to me or the children. I found him more than once in the bathroom holding the locket and staring at it. I'm afraid he suffered some sort of breakdown. I've told him that we can go home, but he just shakes his head. He won't look at me. I just want to go home. Ed left early this morning. I haven't seen him since. If I haven't seen him in another hour, I'm going to call the hotel manager against my... Quartel manager. And he gains my better wishes. Ed Jr. went to go look from downstairs in the basement. Uh oh. I'm going to send Tiffany down there down to fetch him fetch him wait. Somebody's knocking on my door. Oh my god! Ed covered in blood. Coming to kill me. Lock myself in the bathroom. He's gone crazy. He keeps shouting we'll be we'll be together forever and he'll, and he'll never let me go. Somebody please help The writing trails off the end of the page. Okay. So Ed kind of went mental because of the hotel. So it's kind of like a shining thing. Okay. Oh. Why? Why? What's gonna happen? <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Whoa! Whoa! Ho! Oh, oh, yeah, fucker! I will, and I want to get the hell out of here. Okay. So there's. Okay. No, I want to go that way. Let's get me in there. Oh, why am I crawling? Hello? Can't go in here. Was that a ghost I just saw? There's something over there. Oh, with a uh, weak upon thistle. The specified reed was not meant to fall in the hands of a damned, but the vampires can benefit from a shaman shamanistic magic all the same. Increased defense by one point. Cool. There is something over there, isn't there? Yeah, I thought there was. What is that? What was that? I thought there was something over there. Oh, yeah, fuck her. Okay, but I'm just gonna quickly save it here because I feel like something bad's gonna happen. Ow. Yep. Ah, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Get away from me. What the fuck? Ooh. I'm gonna make. I don't know if I. I don't want to do this whole level all over again. What the fuck? Oh shit. Oh fuck. Is that fire or something? Oh. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. 
check. Oh fuck. I thought something bad was gonna bloody well happen. Let me just see if I've got any more blood. No, I've got no more blood. Crap, I need to sell this stuff as well. So I can get by this. Ah, shit, shit. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, fuck. Oh, look how much health I've got. What's this? A pendant. The ocean house. Cool. Alright. That's all good. We're gonna leave now. Presumably. Oh, music box. Oh, okay. You, I actually screw you. I've left this bloody house, aren't I? I've got what I want. Don't throw things at me, you cheeky shit. God's sake. Get in there. There we go. We jump down here, corner. Yeah. Okay, so that's that one done. Oh, hey, Jeanette. How odd. I was just having naughty thoughts about you. You made quite an impression earlier. Did you come up just to cheer lonely little me? As a matter of fact, I did. I couldn't stop thinking about you. Really? Do I often pogo stick through your thoughts wearing nothing but a smile? Be honest. Or don't. All the time, Jeanette. What do I do in your thoughts? What all Swabe kittens do. On hands and knees, you lap up the milk of me. And we purr, kitten, like dragonflies buzzing around frog bellies. Kinky. So, Therese told me you might be back with something for her. Do you have it with you? Why would Therese tell you that? She doesn't trust you. Um, I'm not giving anyone but Therese. I'm not just some silly doll, you know. All my life, my sisters made me out to be a joke. She told you I was an embarrassment, didn't she? That I couldn't tie my shoes, let alone hold on to something for her. Is that it? No, please calm down. She's always belittling me. She's the smart one. She's the favorite. She's the successful one. Well, it's not fair. I'm not a fool. This club's success is just as much my doing as it is hers. Would you stop? You're driving me nuts. Do you understand what it's like to have your own flesh and blood ripping you apart on a daily basis for two lifetimes? Can you? I'm sorry to hear that, Jeanette, but I really need to give it to Therese. Fine. You hold on to it. Hmm. Could Since you're so willing to brave that itchy. big spooky place for my darling sister, how about doing a teensy tiny favor for little troubled me? Now it depends on what it is. Do you know Gallery Noir down the street? I happen to know there's a charity event being organized there. Lots of influential Santa Monicans slithering in for token appearances. But there's one thing they don't know. The whole event's been set up by a kindred trying to establish their own power click in our city. And we can't let that happen, can we? So I need some brilliant young upstart to spoil the milk. For you, anything. <laughs> I promise this won't take long. Take this knife. Give the paintings in the gallery a good slashing. Don't get caught, and don't turn it into a massacre. And steal the charity box, would you? Buy yourself something velvet. All right, I'll go slash pins. I'm sure Therese will be thrilled to honor your agreement when you get back. But in the meantime, get to the museum and ruin those paintings. Then pay me a visit. I want to hear all about it. Hurry up. I can only amuse myself for so long. Be back soon. Oh, Goodbye. Oh, and there was something about the paintings. Hmm, what was it? I can't remember. Oh, well. Have fun, Duckling. I will. I've got a feeling this is probably not a good idea because Therese won't be happy about it. I've got a feeling it's probably something to spite Therese. Hey, 
Hey, hey, hey, hold on a minute there. I'm afraid you are committing a 351. That's trespassing on private property. I'm gonna have to ask that you vacate the premises immediately, or I'm afraid I'll be forced to radio this in. Wow, the way you said that, it was so commanding. <laughs> well, Missy, that's just a natural response that people have to someone in my kind of position. Eh? The risk, the prestige, the authority. It's a tough job, but somebody's gotta do it. Wanna know a secret? Power is a real turn on to me. Uh, yeah, you know, you'd be surprised how often I hear that in this line of work. Uh, it's a uniform, you know. Women just can't get over the uniform. Oh, don't stop talking. Well, uh, yeah, uh, unfortunately, if I continue to engage you in conversation, it's a violation of Code 613. How about we get to know each other better right now? I don't need that much blood off him actually. I don't need any blood off him to be honest with you. Hmm. I think it was like a sequence that I thought it was. Hmm, try it this way. Security, I'll put on security. Uh, ship on what's happening? Put on scholarship. Um, what's that one? Hacking. Oh, it's that one, that one's three. Okay, I'll put on that one. Um, I'm not going to steal the charity money because you lose your humanity if you do that. Thanks for coming back. What you need? Um, I'd like to buy some something. All right, here's what we got today. Um, I would give not gain nothing from its build. Ah, should have read it, Lucretia. You know what? Let me do that. I'm gonna cheat. I know that's probably a terrible thing to do, but. There we are. I need uh, 15. That one. And then I need 20 for that one. There we go. I know I shouldn't cheat. I know I shouldn't cheat. But I really just want, like, Blood, um, blood boil. Blood boil is literally my favourite vampire power, and I want to use it. So I am going to switch it off right now because if I start using blood boil on an innocent victim, I'm going to get lose my masquerade point. I don't lose my humanity. Don't want to get the masquerade in trouble. Um, hey. Um. Since I walked in here, I haven't been able to take my eyes off you. <laughs> Stop. You stop. Even if my pants oh, were on fire, I would not take them off in front of you. Bitch. Um. Since I walked in here, I haven't been able to take my eyes off you. <laughs> stop. 
Okay. Even if my pants were on fire, I would not. Bitch, take them just off give me your bloody, just give me a flippin' blood, man. Hmm? The world would be intolerable if there was nothing as beautiful as you. You think I'm really? Yeah, I guess if that's all. I'm sure you hear that all the time. Hmm. How about a kiss before I go? There we are. I gotta drink some of our blood. Hello, Mrs. Hello. Guess she's come over to say hi. What are you doing? Don't, don't, don't shake the camera. Babe. It's Jesse. Babe. It's Jesse. What are you doing? What are you doing? Do you want to have a lie down? I don't want to see your bum. Jesse. Sorry about the camera shaking. Jesse's just right here. for like five so seconds and then she'll start scratching us. I'm here to, I'm here now so the party is officially started. Really? And what are you bringing to the party, huh? Got anything I can't get out in Arizona? Everyone at this place is so straight edge. Drugs? I don't need drugs. But I can share my ecstasy with you. Now you've got me curious. Come here. I'll show you why it killed the cat. It's a long time until sunrise. Wanna come play with me? Oh yes. All night long. were you thinking? I... The museum. That was my event. Did you think I wouldn't find out? But... Shut up. I thought I could control my sister as long as tongue was out of the picture. But nothing's changed. I should have expected that you'd succumb to Jeanette's influence like all the others. But how dare you? I didn't do it, I swear. Jeanette claimed you did it for her. But let's say I believe you. After all, you've acted decently and rationally up to now. I imagine you'd still like me to call off the feud. Yeah, I have the album for the hotel host, too. Excellent! Oh, I'll take that. However, there's only one problem. If Tongue gets word that I threatened Jeanette, which he most certainly already has, it's not likely he'll believe me. So, in order to call off the feud, you're going to have to convince Jeanette to forgive me first. And how do I do that? I made some threats against my sister. Idle threats, involving fire and her impious satin sheets. She took them quite seriously, and is avoiding me. I want to meet with her, and explain that they were said in the heat of the moment. I asked her to meet me at the Surfside Diner, to reconcile. But I'm busy with the club and my other endeavors. I'd like you to go to the diner and promise her that I don't plan to take any action against her. Wait for her in the back booth, near the phones. I'll go, then the story. If the Baron of Sour and Morica wants a sister back, I will get a sister back. For all her unwholesome diversions and irritating disruptions, I should be less tolerant of her. She is my sister, however, and I suppose I'm obligated to forgive her her trespasses. I did sire her, after all. Please, be quick about it. All right, I'll take care of it. Later. Sour 3, that's Melly. Ooh. And brings up my defences. Yeah, I think I need my defences up more than anything. Oh, where am I going? Really use blue foil for these lot as well. as well. Shit. 
Did I lose my humanity? Oh no, I didn't. He's dead as well. <laughs> Sorry, dude. <laughs> you see what I mean by blood boy? Is it fucking awesome? Isn't it fucking cool? I'm terribly sorry about that. My sister was just furious about your oil. refusal to take part in her design. So she sent those men to kill you. But I'm going to make sure it never happens again. Drop by. We'll take care of this tongue business. <laughs> She's crazy! Help! I see about you see what I mean about blood boil. It literally just gets rid of all the car all the uh, severed arm right there. Literally just gets rid of all the enemies and unfortunately it's got rid of him as well, so he's dead. Sorry about that. Yeah. <laughs> blood boil is my favourite. Hey, need a date? No, fuck off. Hey, you. Mummy's here to get a little more sugar. <laughs> Wanna come play with me? As I said, I do. Let's get some blood up there. Oops, yeah, these went too far there. You. I'm really sorry it had to end this way. I truly am. You seemed promising, but you've been tainted by the stink of my sister's schemes. And now I'm going to make sure she never double crosses me again. Don't listen to her. She'll kill us both. Save me and I'll help you find Bertram. I swear. Shut up, Jeanette. I warned you to stay away from Tongue. He's turned you against me. I always looked out for you, but you couldn't stand my success. You had to meddle, didn't you? I didn't want it to end like this. But you forced me! You never gave me any credit for anything, Therese. I was the one calling the shots. Bertram was dancing on my leash. How does it feel to know that I beat you? Why are you both fighting? Isn't it obvious? I'm about to rid the night of this deviant, backstabbing whore! Do you realize that despite her condition, she still... fornicates with kind, no less? So despicable. So unclean! You're one to talk, dear sister. Or should I say daddy's little girl? Do you want to know just how depraved the Baron of Santa Monica can be? Shut up, Jeanette. You'd love the world to think you're a saint. When you thought I was asleep, I used to hear father come in at night. I heard him whisper how much he loved you in your ear before he... Don't finish that sentence or you're dead. Both of you, stop. Don't you want to hear what happened? How she became the pillar of the community she is today? Shut up. Just shut up! Stop it right now, both of you. Don't try and stop me. I've had to overlook her treachery, her seduction, relations with my enemies, and the consequences of it. But I won't endure her any longer. Endure me? Dear sister, you've done everything you could to smother me. You love to bury me in your closet, along with all your other skeletons. I'm the good girl. You're the wicked one. You've done nothing but plot against me when I had our best interests at heart. And despite that, I've always covered up your mistakes. I've taken care of you. And this is how you repay me? Taken care of me? You've done nothing but keep me down. Blame me for every mistake. Did you expect me to let you rule my life until the end of time? No, sister. You've had it coming since our last sunrise. Is that right, dear? If it wasn't for me, you would have never survived this long. Remember? They tried to separate us, but I refused. I chose this life and brought you into it so that we could stay together. Obviously, you've forgotten. If you both... If you both want to continue to exist, you're going to have to live with each other. She's a control freak. People, things, emotions. If she can't control something, she gets rid of it. And you're a wild animal. You'll rub up against anything that'll take you in for the night. Then when you're stuffed and bored, you bite the hand that fed you. Both of you have been working against each other for... Yeah, can't get me words out. Both of you will be working against each other. Together, you'd be your power. I don't think that's possible. How could I ever think to trust her again? Trust me? 
who could trust you after what happened with Father Dearest? Father loved me. I was a good girl. I always did what I was told. You always hated that he loved me. You disobeyed him. You brought men home when he wasn't there. You were an awful daughter to him. That's all in the past. Forget about it. Father came home drunk one day and mistook me for Therese. Because I'd fallen asleep in her bed. Don't listen to her. She's lying. Therese walked in while he was there, and she saw me lying with him, and so she went to the closet and pulled out his hunting shotgun, loaded it with deer shot, and blew his mind out all over the silly clown wallpaper. That's a lie. Father killed himself because of Jeanette. She made him miserable. As I recall, he died with a smile on his face. No matter what happens, you two need each other to move on. Why? How will this time be any different? Think of how powerful you could both be if you work together. Therese doesn't like to share. Jeanette's irresponsible. She's undependable. A venture like mine requires class and distinction, which is something a pigtailed, face-painting harlot does not lend very well. You do have a way with words, sister. You're right. I'm not in the same class, am I? I mean, murderers are so respectful these days. Therese, let, let Jeanette have more responsibility. More responsibility? So that she can ruin every opportunity I give her? Of course. You're the only one who can secure zoning permits and shake hands. I'd never be able to keep up. Jeanette, stop sabotaging your sister's plans. But I only do it for attention and out of love. You do it because you're vindictive and jealous and you deserve it. If you call the truce and run this place equally, there's no need to kill each other. If she would stop treating me like a child. If she would start behaving like a rational adult. You both must have gotten along at one time. Yes, there was a time. When I was a child, I didn't have many friends. I suppose Jeanette was the only one. We never did get to go out of the house much. Father wouldn't allow us. He said we'd get hurt, so we stayed inside and we imagined our own worlds. And we spent so much time there together, ruling over those places. Those were happier times, before we grew apart. You don't really want to kill each other, do you? I never did. No, I guess I don't. Jeanette, if I were to give... Offer you equal control in Santa Monica, would you quit consorting with Tongue? I'll stop working against you with him. But since I've got him in my pocket already, there's no reason for me not to pay him a little visit once in a while, when he can be of use. That's not a bad plan. There's just one more thing. I want to be in charge of Santa Monica, but only publicly. I want you to continue to convince others that our relations are strained. That way, we know who our enemies are. I agree. Give me the gun, Therese. Take it. I'd hate to look at it again and think of what almost transpired. I suppose now that Jeanette and I have settled our differences, I'll call off the feud with Tongue. Bertram's hiding in an empty oil tank at the old gas station. I'll tell him to expect a visitor, and I'll ask him to be extra nice. Thanks. Goodbye. Please give Santa Monica's regards to the prince, and keep your tongue tied about what happened tonight, or we'll have to kill you. Okay. So... Um... Yeah, so that's that. Whatever. Okay, well, I think I'm going to leave this um, episode here. Next time, I will tackle the warehouse one and might start some of the side quests of downtown. Depends how long the, the warehouse will take. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode.